Today we're going to create a fantasy look using an airbrush to create color blends. Sure, you can use traditional brushes just fine. I prefer to use an airbrush. I find it's faster to create those really beautiful transitions. During wider areas, you want to make sure that your pressure is up. The airbrush is relatively further away from the skin. If you're up too close, you'll start to get blotchy coverage. And I'm going to start with yellow. So while you're doing larger areas, you want to do circular motions and that will help to keep it from looking streaky as if you're just kind of going back and forth. Now when spraying the nose area, one trick that I found is as I'm airbrushing, brushing it, you want to make sure that the pressure is not too hard to where it's going up to your nostrils, but also to slowly breathe out of your nostrils so that way none of that paint and air is going up into your nose. Now let's say something like this happens. You accidentally spray way too much and you have a big blob. You don't want to touch it because if you touch it, you're going to pull it up and then you're going to disrupt the area around it. Now it's dry and you can clearly see that it's darker and it's not blended like the rest of the area. We're gonna go in and we're going to try to airbrush around the perimeter to blend that in better. There's less paint in the center because of how the airbrush pushes the paint outward. So we're also going to go in that center and try to fill that in. So you can get closer to the skin because you want to try to stay off of that saturated rim so that we can blend it further. If something like this does occur in a blend area, you might find that you have to flip flop between the two colors to get that transition back. Now for the outer edges, we're going to go with the orange. Also, just as a note, I do test on my hand or a piece of paper just to make sure that the paint is the consistency I want and I don't get any crazy surprises when I go to paint on my skin. Now for contouring areas, I do go in an up and down or side to side motion, not necessarily circular because I wanna focus on a smaller area. When I'm doing a smaller area, I'm not pushing the trigger all the way to the back. It's only slightly just to get a little bit of color, let that dry and keep building go in with that turquoisey color. When swapping between quick colors like this, I'll wipe the cup and I'll have a paper towel handy so that I can spray out the initial color just to make sure that that previous color is out of the front of the airbrush. Also make sure you put your lid on. I'm really bad about that as you can see. You will make quite a mess. As I'm building up the color in larger areas, I'm really just focusing on the areas that I need the most coverage and not so much worrying about the transition just yet. So that way I can softly go into that transition. Now I'm gonna go in with the lime color. I'm gonna use this on the edge of the blue into the yellow in certain areas like the cheeks and the collarbones. I'm gonna go out further and I'm gonna do a really soft dusting from over into the yellow onto the blue and that's really just gonna soften that green area. I'm gonna go in with this brighter blue color and we're gonna use that for some contour areas. It's gonna go straight across as opposed to doing small circular motions. I will kind of do a wiggling motion when I'm trying to build up the area. I'm also gonna use this transition color to do some slight contouring in areas so that it doesn't look so flat. Just keeping it really soft and slowly building up the color. And I'm gonna follow up with that darker blue. There's some overspray that hit my nostril. We're gonna go in with the yellow again and soften that up. Spraying in a smaller area, I'm gonna turn my air pressure down so that I have more control. Now I'm gonna go in with the red to do some accents. To do the top of the ears, I wanna avoid any overspray of this color. I'm gonna use a paper towel to protect the area. So the eye area, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the pressure is nice and low because you don't want too much pressure in that area. To touch up around the eyes, I'm gonna use the Cuffit Cosmetics Mandala Effect Palette and we're gonna start with that yellow color. Next, we're gonna do that orange color right next to it. I'm gonna take the Collective Cosmetics Rosetta Stone and I'm gonna use that for the inner corners of the eyes. I'm gonna use the Collective Cosmetics Opus Lip Color. So now that the color blends are looking all nice, if you wanna see how to airbrush different textures such as stripes and spots, be sure to check out the next video.